The content you're about to enjoy comes from the archives of The Best You. We're devoted to the very best in personal development. With a magazine and resources dedicated to inspiring and changing people's lives, at The Best You, we work with the world's leading writers and trainers on the evolution of the self and people whose journeys have been affected by their work and words. For more information, go to www.thebestyou.co. So I've, I've had the pleasure of working with a lot of people, uh, interviewing a lot of people, supporting a lot of people, and obviously seeing a lot of speakers. Uh, there's a lot of people in the industry, and, and there's, there's, there's generally the, the, loads of them. A very high percentage of them are, you know, come from a place of love. But also, you know, they're, they're, they're very knowledgeable. They, they bring phenomenal expertise. But in particular, I, I'm, I'm going to introduce now very quickly uh, someone who is helping me uh, throughout these three days to co-host, who's going to be supporting the best you as he has already uh, in quite a few occasions, and that's David Fagan. So, David, how are you? Great, <laughs> great. This is this is amazing. Uh, you know, I just wrapped up my three-day event, and you co-hosted and helped me there, and so happy to uh, return the favor. And um, man, I'm just I'm watching all these things going. Why didn't we play those commercials that you had at my event? Those are yeah. so. They're so good. They're so well done. They're so professionally produced. I, I, I love it. Thank you so much. So listen, David Fagan is a former CEO of Guerrilla Marketing, which has sold over 23 million books in 62 languages all over the world, as well as the former owner of LCO Communications, a Beverly Hills firm, PH, sorry, PR firm that has represented 58 Academy Award winners, 34 Grammy winners, and 43 New York Best Time Sellers. Um, He's won major awards for publishing, publicity, and even for the Entrepreneur Educator of the Year Award from um, the from Infusionsoft, the um, the award from Inc. Five Hundred from Infusionsoft. So, David, I, I I've got to say, over the years, a lot of the people that I've worked with, you you, you really stand out as someone that is is so you have so much wisdom and, and so much knowledge, and, and you share so much expertise, uh, and you really open your knowledge and, and share so much. You know, I was part of your JV mastermind these three days where you had more than three, 400 people, uh, you know, pre-register to the event. And, um, and you know, the, the format that you have there and, and, and the, the people that you bring together, but you're relentless. I mean, you're there from like seven in the morning. You're literally just coaching and giving and delivering and giving tips and, and feedback it's a phenomenal event, David. So, and I know you used to obviously do that live, like we all used to do these, but you really transitioned very quickly. I think you were one of the first ones that I saw using these rooms on Zoom, literally, you know, so well. But listen, congratulations. I, I think I think you in particular, your brand stands out head and shoulders from uh, so, from so many other people. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. I, I think we all want fans. Like we know the power of fans and, and how do you get them? You give, you serve, and you share. And and you got to do it strategically. And, you know, that's what you're doing too. And that's why, you know, top talent, you know, our top talent brand and your best you brand. I mean, they're just, they're very great strategic partners. They're very much in alignment. And, you know, something that you've pointed out to me that I didn't think of until you said it is there's a difference to the mindset and feeling when you are watching television versus being on a computer on a Zoom call. And it, it's it's so true. Like how many hours will we spend sitting in front of a TV and it doesn't feel like work, right? It doesn't feel the same where, you know, kind of on the computer on sort of a Zoom call, sometimes it just feels like work. So it's great to be a part of the cutting edge vision that you have of just getting these non-stop, non-stop streaming uh, TV programs, you know, of events, you know, now we're joining events right from, you know, the comfort of our own home. So thank you for taking me along on your journey. I am, I am a very happy uh, passenger riding shotgun, as we say here in the U.S. <laughs> No, listen, we've, uh, we, we explored possibilities of working, collaborating. And I think, you know, we come from a place of, of mutual kind of, uh, respect and admiration. And, and, and as I said, I was, I was delighted to, to be part of it briefly, uh, because I was setting out for, for hours. And I know we're speaking later on today. I mean, uh, about television and have a bit of a conversation around television and the future yeah. of television and, and maybe where the personal development industry is going. But I would like to maybe discuss a little bit more about, 
how you see, what do you see the live industry going or where is it going? What, what is happening in front of your eyes? Well, people still <clears throat> need to connect. And there's a lot of people out there feeling very isolated. And so, you know, the big direction of live events is still to help people not feel isolated and to not just connect, but be able to collaborate and create with other individuals. And that's what so many of us are, are looking for. You know, so many of us that kind of have the, uh, the speaker bug, the speaker gene, right? You know, we can't, we can't help but to want to speak. Where's our stage? Where's our stage? Um, you know, that, that is online and it is on these other types of platforms. And because, like you said, so many people are kind of getting involved, there is a little bit more clutter. You know, there is a little bit more overabundance and options, and it can be somewhat confusing. And so there is a race right now to who can do it the most professionally, who can make it the most interactive. And, you know, that's really where you've come in and stepped up and starting to integrate a lot of the technology to really, you know, reinvent the room, right? So it used to be that, you know, maybe there was a little bit of conversation in the hallway or there was sort of exhibitor space and there was, you know, all, you know, breakout sessions. And now we're finding ways to do that you know, through, you know, online, you know, through television. So we're still experiencing those similar ways to connect, to create and to collaborate. And, um, you know, that is the, the direction, you know, how do we recreate what made live events so good online? And it's, it's really cool to see how out of the box people are getting uh, to do that. And just one thing that one of our friends is doing, Danella Burnett is, I'm seeing her doing kind of this cutting edge thing of she's still mailing out boxes of stuff, right? And so you're getting a box in the mail and you're literally pulling things out as you're going through the event. They're like, okay, get in there, pull out your workbook. People love to get things in the mail, right? And so what's something we did at events? We would, we would share a meal together. Okay, here's your Grubhub, right? Go ahead and order your food. Okay, what did you guys get? And you're literally unpacking your food together at home. And so it, it is interesting to see that there really are some fun, unique ways to still recreate some of these meaningful things, like sharing a meal with somebody. There's kind of a bond that happens. <laughs> well, we even do that online, right? And as we see people doing that on TV, you know, we're kind of living vicariously through them. So there's just a couple of the ideas off the top of my head. I, I could go on here, but, but thank you for giving me a chance to share. I appreciate it. No, thank you. Well, listen, we're going to play a very quick commercial. The best, we're going to show you a little commercial around the Best You TV and what the Best You TV is all about. And then I'm going to literally kind of explain to you what I feel uh, where the industry is going or where the, where the actual personal development world should go. So we'll be back in a minute. People from all over the world are seeking inspiration, looking for answers, looking for ways to become the best version of themselves. And The Best You is launching in 2021 the best TV series, a place where we will feature the best speakers, coaches, authors, and mentors. Leaders in their own rights, innovators, influencers, inspirers of the 21st century. Coming soon to The Best You TV. So that's one of the series that we're launching in 2021, which is the best uh, TV series, where we're literally highlighting, pretty much like we've done in the Expo, we're bringing the best coaches, the best speakers, the best authors, and the best uh, best mentors. So literally, it's 20 episodes where we feature, highlight all these people with obviously footage of theirs, with a voiceover, and we kind of create like a, a documentary where we really em enhance and embrace their career, and then we put it out on television for people to have something that they're proud of. So that's what we're starting with the best, uh, as far as the best UTV, that's our first TV series. One of the things that I think, David, and I know you've obviously worked with a lot of artists and talent, sports, musicians, and I think one of the things that I've, I've kind of struggled to understand is, is, and this is where we hope 
where we can go with the best you is, is, is to create more of a show around running an event, you know, where we can bring musicians, where we can bring talent, you know, like the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl of a sudden, like, you know, in 15 minutes, they put a stage up, Beyonce comes and sings and 15, 20 million come and watch it. You know, I think that's what we need to do. I think us personally, because, you know, we, hey, listen, we're delivering inspiring, inspirational uh, content, you know, that can really help and transform people's lives like nothing else is out there. So I think I think if we can then bring that and bring bring a bit more of a show feel to it where people can say, wow, you know, I'm not only I'm learning, but it's entertaining and it's fun. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. And that's something that um, is not out there available, you know, for everyone. So if somebody has those kinds of connections, um, that gives them the ability to, to really rise to the top. And that's what we're trying, we're seeing right now in this new space of online streaming, there's kind of a little bit of a new land rush, you know, for content. So when somebody like you comes along that has access to all these great speakers, all these great educators, you know, all these great facilitators and trainers, you know, it really opens up a whole new world because right now, um, knowledge has really lost its value, right? People used to say, Oh, knowledge is power. Uh, knowledge isn't power. Knowledge is just knowledge. You can get on Google and just Google anything. You can go to YouTube and, you know, we got billions of videos here. So now there's so much more value for wisdom, right? The application of knowledge, the implementation of knowledge and getting the right things in the right places. You know, would you rather have thousands of hours of endless speeches or would you rather have, you know, 10 amazing people with their best signature talk ever in one place where if someone has sorted and sifted and separated out all the gold nuggets and say, here, here's what's most important if you care about this. And, and that's really what we're looking for, right? Uh, we don't want the avalanche theory, right? We, none of us wants the box of guilt anymore. The box of guilt, Bernardo, is that, that course we bought that sits on our desk and we stare at and we just (laughs) feel guilty because we haven't gone through the thousands of hours and pages of everything that's there. We don't, we don't want that anymore. We want quality. We don't want quantity. And so for someone to kind of come along and be the uh, person that sorts and sifts and separates and pulls out the gold nuggets and says, okay, world, here's what you really need to know most You know, you don't have to spend endless amounts of time searching. Um, We have provided the best of the best through the best you TV or best you expo. Right. And so I think that's really where the value is coming in that you're doing so well. Yeah, well, thank you. Well, look, we're very excited. And look, David, uh, just to give people a little bit of a brief of what we're going to be talking about later on today. We discussed it at your JV Mastermind the other day. We were talking about television. Just give us a couple of little teasers of what, we, what we're what we going to be covering on today, because a lot of people have this misconception of what TV is or, or what they think it should be or says, oh, my God, I'll never get to NBC. Well, not everyone wants to get an NBC. Yeah. I love the idea you were saying about do you want to sell a million books or do you want to make a million dollars with your books? You know, so it's it's, it's all about perspective. Give us yeah. some, some, some little feelers of what we're going to be talking about later on today. Yeah, well, like anything, you know, if you want to get the right answer, you have to ask the right question. I think a lot of us, you know, have have read and heard some of the greats talk about, you know, uh, the better your questions, the better your life and, and so on and so forth. And so some people will ask the question, you know, how do I sell a million books? And I can say to them, well, that's kind of the wrong question. The better question is, how do I make a million dollars with a book? And it's the same thing that goes to TV. It's not, you know, how do I get a million viewers, right? Um, yeah, I mean, that's a decent question, but here's a better question. How do I make a million dollars with a TV show? So there are more than one way uh, to monetize different types of things. And a TV show is one of them, a magazine, another, a book is another. But right now, TV is the is the hot thing. And if you know how to really understand and operate and navigate show business, there's a reason why they call it show business. There's a business side to it all. You know, how do you get the product placements? How do you do the paid guests? you know, paid co-host speakers? How do you get commercials, paid advertisers, paid sponsors? Um, Just through the event over the last couple of days, we've had people kind of sign up for the talent search process and kind of go through the application process that we'll be talking to Bernardo. And we're showing them, you know, how do you go out and get a sponsor, an advertiser? How do you give them what they want to see? What do they want to see? 
So we'll kind of pull back the curtain on some of those things. Those are some of the things that I've done, you know, myself, some of those things I've done, uh, you know, with clients, but there is a technology side to TV shows. There is a hosting side, you know, interviewing segments, sound bites, you know, cliffhangers. Um, but there's also this business side. And what we're going to focus on today is, is that business side and kind of get you thinking a little bit more about, you know, what do you really need to monetize the TV show and what are the hidden advantages uh, to being able to leverage your own show? Because there is, there is a value to influence and credibility and exposure. But if you don't know how to leverage those things, then you're making an investment in time and money and you're not getting the full return, you know, if you didn't know that you could do certain things. So um, one last thing that you brought up is, uh, you know, the big four networks. And a lot of people think, oh, well, only this or only that, or I dream of having a show that is on this network or this platform. Hey, we're not trying to stop anybody from doing that. And we even have uh, some access to take you that far and go that distance. And we want you to know the pros and cons, just like there are pros and cons to going with a big traditional publisher versus being self-published. There are pros and cons to being self-published, you know, as well as the other way around. Same thing with TV shows. And I'll just give you one, one thing here just to kind of, you know, get everybody thinking is a lot of people don't realize when you go with a bigger traditional network, they own the show. You are kind of more or less an employee of your own show. And you could really just be let go, you know, of your show concept. Um, and so when you own your show and you own the rights to your show, uh, there might be a little bit more work you need to do, but then you get to control the money and control the power, decide who your guests are. So that's just a little bit of, of the kind of the pros and cons. And there, yeah. And there's some production companies out there that if you are good enough and we can show you how to be good enough, you know, they're going to take over a lot of those costs. And right now we have production companies that are saying, Bernardo, David, you know, we'll reduce people's cost. You know, we'll, we'll help create some of this stuff, you know, bring us people that are TV worthy. So yeah, let's, we'll talk more about that as the day goes on, as the next couple of days go on, but there's a massive talent search going on right now so that people can create content. You know, everybody wants content. Yeah. Well, listen, and I want to emphasize that we're going to be talking about that later on today. We're going to give you some contact details of how you can contact David, how you can contact me and how we can help you because literally we have everything. We've got something for everyone from someone that just wants to have an episode in one of our shows from someone that would want to have a channel that would want to literally find opportunities for them to bring sponsors and, and how literally it could cost not only nothing, they could even generate revenue from the moment go. Now I want to do a very, I want to show a very quick snippet of a new show with Dr. Fab that we just literally, as I said and announced, we've, we've now launched on the best you TV. So it's a very short video, which literally talks about Dr. Fabricio's Mancini show. It's thriving the new normal. So have a quick look. We are living in unprecedented and uncertain times. Thriving in the new normal is my new TV show created just for you. Are you aware that while most people are surviving during this new normal, others are thriving like never before? Which one are you? Circumstances have never defined the person. Our responses do. What if you could experience the thoughts and behaviors of some of the most successful people in the world and how they have chosen to respond? Let us help you become the person you were destined to be and not just your current reality. You deserve it. Get ready to thrive. Watch my show now on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and Google Play. So we have an amazing uh, lineup of, uh, of speakers coming and joining us later on today. We've actually got, uh, we're, we're featuring today uh, some of the uh, speakers that have already taken a show in the best series. So we're very excited about that. We've got Barbie Layton, Arifanis, we have Ana Teresa Dengo, we've got Fiona Campbell, uh, Smita Joshi, Christopher Lembeke, we've got Pablo Rosero. They are joining us. These are all people that already have signed up 
for the best series, the best coaches, the best authors, the best speakers. So they're already signing up and their shows are going to be literally filmed uh, in Q1 and they'll be on air on Q1 as well. And then additionally to that, later on, we have um, we have Vicky Shatini, who is also now a founder of The Best You TV. And we've got a, a show on Sunday where I'm going to be highlighting and my founders are people that have come on board from the beginning, who I'm extremely grateful for, but believe in obviously where we're going. And that is um, Alice, um, Alice Nicola Smith, uh, Jackson, I mean. She's joining us today. We've got Vicky Shatini, we've got Doria Cordova, and Dr. Fabrizio Mancini. So those are our first founders. And then, well, we're probably going to invite David to come along and join us because David is a, is a partner of the Best You and the Best You TV. So we're very excited. I'm very excited to have him collaborating and helping us today. And then later on today, we've got Mas Sadaji. Now, Mas Sadaji has a phenomenal following. He's got over a million people following him on Facebook. He spoke at one of our expos in, in London. I remember the first time I'd never met uh, Mas and he had a small breakout room. You know, we had, we got, not, we used to have nine breakout rooms all of them 100 people, and then the main stage, and then was like, main stage was five, 600 people, and then another stage, MMI, 200, 250 people. But it was one of the small ones, and I don't know why, because literally there were so many people outside, and he had, and he had a booth which literally you know, just blocked every corridor. So we had to move him out of the way and put him somewhere where he could attend all the people that he had. So Mass would be someone that has thousands of people just listening to his every word. And I remember the expo finished in London, and it was like 10 o'clock at night. And, and people were walking on the street following him and waiting, and he had them all tranced out there in the middle of the street. It was absolutely phenomenal. So we're very excited that Mass is joining us today. He's going to be speaking here on the main stage, but also he is a founder of The Best UTV as well. Now he's going to be joining us on Sunday. So we're going to be talking about his show and what he plans to do because he's got a program which has got a funny name. It's very exciting. I mean, some people might not find it funny, but it's called Mass on Sunday. So Mass on Sunday, we'll be doing the Mass on Sunday show live. It's going to be streamed live through the television because, he's, as I said, he's already got over a million people on Facebook and he's trying to target now the television world. So we're very excited. We're very grateful to have them all on. And then later on to finish the day, we've got John Shin. John Shin is, uh, he's lovely. John is just, uh, he's a very, very funny man. He's uh, very entertaining, but he's a very successful business person. Very, very successful. He's, uh, he's built a multi-million dollar business. He yeah. is a producer. He's the author of the Think and Grow Rich for Asian. He's actually the producer of the film Think and Grow Rich, The Legacy, which we are showcasing here today at the Best Year Expo. Yes, yes, we keep bringing you amazing things. So John is very funny. Uh, I, I love him. He's got some great energy. I remember the first time we did, a, I did a podcast with him, but I think it was actually his first talk at the Best Year Virtual Expo in LA, where he spoke as well. And he had all these toilet rolls around him, which he was very proud of, because obviously, you know, he was one of the ones that made sure that all the supermarkets had no toilet roll. So John is joining us as well today. So that's day one, day one. And we've got more and more happening in the next couple of days. So David, what are you looking forward to? Because I, I love one, uh, one of the things that you do at your event is, 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 uh, I, I, I know, I know, I know. The word networking, not that it doesn't, not that you don't like it, but you're not a massive fan because I can see, I, I read nonverbal communication and I can see that <laughs> like your eyes twitching now when people talk about networking, <laughs> not that you're opposed to it, but what you build is relationships. And I love it. It's important. There's a big difference, isn't it? There is. And, um, you know, uh, my wife, Isabel Donadio, actually just wrote in, uh, in articles in the uh, Los Angeles Tribune about networking being on life support, especially local networking being <laughs> on life support. Cause you know, people just can't get out as much anymore, but the idea of networking, it has this emotional trigger of, you know, handing out business cards, right? Uh, it's very 2005 here, right? So, <laughs> but yeah, nowadays, you know, I don't think we really want to network nor should we, uh, pursue networking as much as we should pursue relationship building. And, you know, maybe there's a little bit of semantics there. It's one and the same. But uh, as somebody like you who understands self-talk and word choice and the importance, you know, that our words have weight, uh, I like to say to myself, look, I'm looking to build relationships. I'm not looking to to network. I don't I don't need another, you know, 100,000, you know, random people. I need a few more key relationships. You know, over the last year, you've been a good relationship. I didn't go out and say, boy, I like to network with Bernardo. I thought, you know, I, I want to be friends with Bernardo, right? I want to see what I can do to give and serve and, and share. 
So absolutely. I think one of the things in this new year is think about, you know, who do you want to build relationships with? And you don't need a lot of them, you know, one of the things we're doing sometimes that put us in a state of overwhelm, you know, as we come to events or we, you know, uh, go out and meet people, we make these long lists and we're having 20, 30, 40, you know, different phone conversations and discovery calls. And, you know, I understand it's a numbers game, but I would say try to do more with less and you'd be shocked at how much further things will, uh, further things will go for you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, we're going to be back in a minute. We've still got another 10, 15 minutes until we have our next guests joining us. In the meantime, I wanted to show you a quick uh, video that we did about the Best You TV. It gives you kind of a feel of where we are because we are now available on Roku, Amazon, and Apple. People say, how do you find it? Well, look, it's, it's relatively simple, and we're going to be on the iOS platform very soon. But all you need is you need, obviously, an Apple TV. You need an Apple TV, and then you go to the App Store, and you look for the Best You or the Best You Corporation, and you download the app. And then all the content from the Best You Expos, Inspiring People Interviews, Inspiring People Talks, NLP Life Talks, everything that we filmed, Dr. Fabrizio Mancini's, the new shows, everything is there. You can also find it on Roku. You just got to go to Roku, have a Roku stick, and then the same thing, look for it. And yeah. if you have an Amazon stick, you can find it there. That's it. It's going to be on iOS as well, which is going to make it so much easier. We can watch it on our phones. And this, this, if you're watching it from your home, well, congratulations, well done. And this will all be then uploaded literally within 24, 48 hours from the event being finished. It will all be uploaded so you can watch it when you want to watch it. Because that's what I think uh, the future is. So let's just, sorry, David, go ahead. Can I, can I just share two myths really quick? Because there's kind of two myths about TV. You know, as we're starting to have all these people come to us and say, Hey, what do I need to do to, to have a TV show? And what do I, what do I need to do with this? There's, there's two myths just really quick. One is a myth of, Hey, I already have a show. And man, if I go put it on the best U expo, I've already, you know, man, I've kind of got these deals in these other places. So the first myth is, if I already have a show, I can't have a show someplace else. That's a big myth. You know, mm-hmm. Bernardo is not saying bring your show to me and shut it down everywhere else. Yeah. We, you know, we want your show to be everywhere. It should be on your website, put it on YouTube, you know, build your subscribers, but also put it on another platform. So I know people are hearing us talk about starting a show, but if you already have a great show, this is another place to put that show so that it is syndicated. That's a very, it's a very key word. So we'll talk more about that later, but I just want to dispel the myth that you can only have your show in one place. You know, this isn't 10, 15, 20 years ago where you put a show on one network and that network, you know, owns your show. And then the second myth just really quick is, man, there's so many things I have to do. I'm just so on my own. You know, once I, once I figure this out, I'll circle back. We don't want you to be on your own. And that's why we have put together uh, some programs where we are joint venturing with you. We are strategic partners of yours. We have a vested interest in your show doing well. The quality of your show reflects on us and there is a little bit of quality control. So I just want to dispel the myth that, you know, you got to go figure it out. And once you figure it out, come back to us. Uh, just decide you want to do a show. That's all you need to do. Just make the decision you're ready to do it. And then welcome to the world of resources. So those two myths, I just wanted to just wanted to crush right off the uh, right off the bat here. And there's very a few good, but, we'll get to later. Very good valid points. And also, yeah, I want to talk later as well as we discussed that the other day about co-hosting, because maybe it's something you want to do with someone else. So let's show quickly the um, uh, a quick commercial we did for the Best You TV. It gives you a little bit more of a feel. Thank you. The Best You TV, a TV channel with only the best business leaders and influencers ready to help you rise to the top. Available now on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and Google Play. Learn and grow from in-depth interviews, documentaries, inspirational talks, and motivational masterclasses from the world's biggest thought leaders, speakers, teachers, authors, coaches, and highly successful business gurus. The Best You TV is now live. So basically, there, there we were. The, the Best You Expo in LA had 12,500 people registered. 
shall I run the event? Shall I not run the event? Shall we do it? Shall we not do it? Are they going to shut us down? And I decided, you know what? I'm not going to allow everyone to fly in from all over the world and literally when they're all here say, oops, no, you're closed. So, because you know, it's, it's a $300,000 production. And I thought, you know what? I would rather not lose all that money if that's okay with you guys. So I decided to let's, let's just cut, cut it. And I gave people the chance. Uh, you know what? Then eventually it happened. The, the, the LA Convention Center literally said, hey, no shows are running. So we made the right choice. We made the right call. I'd run my first event. And then the moment I did the first event, I realized that, you know what? This is just going to be so difficult. Because obviously 12, 14,000 people doesn't translate then into 12, 14,000 people showing up to a virtual event. I mean, our first virtual event, I think we had around 4,000 people. Then 2,000 showed up. And this one in particular, I think we've got around three, three and a half thousand people registered. And we're probably going to have half of them maybe showing up. Uh, maybe more. I mean, maybe this time we're going to have a lot more. We hope we do. But what we're doing is we literally took it to television with the idea of allowing people to watch it on demand, which, hey, listen, guess what? So Netflix hasn't done too bad, have they? And the reason they have is because people watch what they want to watch when they want to watch it. So we, we, we launched the Best You TV during this downtime, and now it's becoming a, this beautiful reality. And the other thing is we did, and I just want to show you a very quick uh, commercial about the best you store. And I'll explain a little bit more of additional things that you could do if you have products and services within the well-being industry. So let me just show you a little bit more about the best you store. Achieve more, be more. Store.thebestyou.co So this is another thing I wanted to point out. And I know you've got a lot of clients, David, that are in the well-being industry uh, in general. I mean, obviously, there's so many CBD products, vitamins, nutrition, uh, crystals, all sorts of things. And this is one of the things that I, I really need to highlight. Look, if you have products, you potentially should be having your own show. If you've got products or if you haven't got products, you could get sponsors that would want to maybe, you know, sponsor your show because it's going to say brought to you by, and then they can have commercials within it. You could feature those products. How do you see, how do you see this? Because I, I know it's a, it's a $30 trillion industry, but how do you see this whole well-being industry going? Yeah. Well, first of all, I just got to say that, you know, you had me at hello and like, I'm over here like a fan myself, you know, here I am a part of this and I'm seeing all these things going, man, I didn't know you had that, man. I didn't know you already created that. I mean, I I'm getting more excited by the moment just watching all these things like people in the audience here. And uh, last thing I saw is uh, Tyler Ornstein. Right, yeah. Tyler's coffee. Like he's a client of mine. Friend of he's mine. a client of yours. Absolutely. I met him at yeah. the day with one. Okay, well, so we're like we're working on his book right now, and so you know I'm seeing these these things pop up and go, hey, I, I know that guy. That that's really cool. I was actually so, talking with Tyler about having a coffee because I know he wants to be a coach. Yeah, because he's got phenomenal knowledge. He's, knowledge is an amazing, uh, yeah. he's amazing entrepreneur. But obviously, I thought, look, he's got so many angles where he could where he could highlight his coffee. I thought it would be a, a great fit. Yeah, no, no, it's great. I, I, uh, I'm not sure if I'm more of a raving fan or a strategic partner here at the moment. Here, so this, is, this is fun to see everything come to life. But guys, you at home, you know what it takes to create something, right? You have all these big ideas, but to take action and to implement and to get them done. I mean, finishing is happiness. You know, going back to my wife, she wrote a book called Finishing is Happiness. And I'm, I'm living it right now, just watching all these things that Bernardo, you know, he gets on the phone. He's like, hey, David, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. And, you know, how many people here, other people have big ideas and they're great ideas, but they just, you know, they just never really come together. This is so exciting here in this new year to see all the things that were once just an idea, like, wow, they're, they're, they're done. Um, okay, I I forgot the question. The question was what? <laughs> well, I, 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 just think, I, I just think that's it, David. I, I just think that at the end of the day, I think, look, if, as someone, as an entrepreneur, I'm not talking about an entrepreneur and the personal development. As an entrepreneur, I want to reach as many people as possible. And yeah. I want to reach as many people as possible with as less competition as possible. And yeah. I also want to stand out. I want to be different. Yeah. I want to be unique. I don't want to be doing what everyone else is doing. 
So the answer is obviously television. It's very clear to me. And yeah. I just think that what what we are doing, and this is why I was excited at working, is, is that you have the potential opportunity of, of being able to brainstorm with David and I and both our organizations to be able to put whatever package you want to put together. Uh, yeah. From the writing, the copywriting, the the platform, the exposure, the speaking, the the, the relationship with us, and, and and I just think that you know, kind of that was one of the reasons I was very excited to have you here hosting, and for us to working and collaborating and see where it goes. But guys, my 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 my, my objective is to you is reach out, reach yeah. out, and so connect. so here's a quick um, disclaimer that I think it needs to be said more than what it's being said at, at a lot of events, and that is. Do the best you can with what you have to work with, right? You know, the things that I did 10, 15 years ago are nowhere near as good as they are today. You know, my team is better. My websites are better. My books are better. Does that mean I didn't, you know, fail forward? No, of course, of course I did. So do the best you can with what you have to work with. Now, that being said, with so many people um, doing shows right now, and especially, you know, for those of you guys that are sophisticated, if you don't do a show right, it can actually hurt you more than it can help you. You know, if you're already, you know, a very successful business owner, entrepreneur, speaker, author, expert, uh, and you don't go out and leverage the best technology and put together a decent show, again, it, it can it can hurt you more than it can help you. Once you get to a certain point, you don't want to take a lot of steps back. And for some of you guys that maybe want to go the distance of, you know, maybe you also want to be on some other traditional type networks, you know, they're going to go out there and kind of look at what you've created. So what Bernardo is saying is, is really important. How are you going to separate yourself? How are you going to stand out? You know, are you going to look like, you know, every other show that's just being thrown up on YouTube or just kind of being ran on Facebook? And again, do the best you can with whatever you have to work with. But if you're really there to play big and you've already made all this investment in websites and in books and in courses, you know, make sure that your show is equal to that. Make sure it lives up to the reputation that you've already worked so hard uh, to build. And so, you know, what my recommendation is to people and kind of answering the question, kind of building out the conversation right now is, you know, what can you really do? And what can you afford not to do? Can you afford not to, you know, continue to attach yourself and be a part of, you know, other big professional platforms? And what I like about the Best You TV is you're in good company, right? With my publishing company, for example, if you go and you see all these best-selling books we did, you're in really good company, right? And when you go, you go to the media and everything like that and they go and research you, they're going to see that you're in sort of a family of best-selling authors that all have very professional book covers and, you know, have really good accomplishments. It's the same thing for a TV show. You know, are you kind of lumped together with a bunch of other, you know, random shows where people didn't, you know, put in all the same hard work that you put in, you know, and that doesn't look as good? Or do you want to be a part of a family of shows on a professional platform, you know, that makes you look good? Like, I love the idea that I can be on the same, you know, network as, you know, John Shen or Mancini, by the way, Bernardo, if he ever, you know, if this whole thing isn't working out with him, this whole mindset thing, he could always be a magician. Every time I hear Fab Mancini, I'm like, man, he would make, that's a perfect name to be a magician. Uh, well, you know him better than I do, but go ahead and pass <laughs> it along. Say, David has a backup plan for you. If this ever, this whole mindset <laughs> thing just doesn't work out for you. I mean, I think he's doing okay, but uh, but yes, you know, you want to be in that family uh, of experts. So thank you. Thank you, David. And listen, thank you so much. Listen, I've got my next guest joining me now. I'll see you back here in an hour. And yes. I want to thank you so much. I know you're going to be sharing, apart from the expertise today, you're speaking on, is it on Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, so we need to be one, a few other people on Sunday. So yes, thank Perfect. you. Well, great. Well, thank you, David. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. For more information, go to www.thebestyou.co.